Well, and good Monday evening to you. Hope you and yours had an enjoyable and safe holiday weekend on this Memorial Day. Our weather was hot. It was dry. It was sunny. It was just overall beautiful. Just maybe a touch too warm for some of us. And uh, those same people who have that opinion may not like Tuesday's forecast very much. First things first, a little astronomy geeks this evening. We actually have a, a meteor shower reaching peak tonight. Now, usually the Herculid meteor shower is kind of a two thumbs down meteor shower. It's usually pretty sleepy, pretty dull. This one may be an exception, though, as some of the debris from this uh, comet uh, may pass through the atmosphere with quite a bit of vigor tonight, and that may make for a pretty vivid display. It helps that we have a new moon tonight, no moonlight. Now, that being said, this is kind of a boom or bust situation uh, between 11.30 and 1.30 tonight. Uh, this is worth checking out if you happen to be up. But keep your expectations in check. I always say that with meteor showers, and this one is no exception. This could be really spectacular, or maybe just only a few. We just don't know. We're not going to know until it happens. Um, so if you're a night owl, worth going outside and having a look. We'll have a crystal clear sky overhead. But keep your expectations in check. Find the darkest uh, place you can. Allow your time eyes to adjust. Uh, don't keep sneaking peeks at your phone, because that brightness will readjust your eyes and it'll make it harder to see meteors um, and just look straight up basically you can uh, you can probably see these anywhere in the sky but just looking straight up is your best bet all right we're done with rain for the month of may it's been a pretty plentiful month in the rain department now in the warm weather season uh, your mileage can vary as far as how much rain you picked up versus other locations it tends to be pretty variable in may it was fairly uniform a little less in our western viewing area a little more in our central and eastern viewing area. Some of these deeper hues of red, uh, five, even six inches or so worth of rain. Pretty common in those locations during the month of May. But we are done because we'll have a dry day coming up on the last day of the month tomorrow. At the airport, we're at 4.26 for the month. That is about two-thirds of an inch more than the average. Um, certainly the month got off to a pretty unsettled start with rain six of the first seven days of the month. Then things did dry out the following week been a little bit uh, back and forth ever since. In the temperature department, this will go into the record books as a warmer than average May. If you remember back in mid-April, the initial May outlook looked, you know, on the cool side. Um, a lot of the model information was suggesting that right around April 20th that May, uh, May <laughs> go into the record books as a cooler than average month, but uh, the model information started to adjust as it started to see things going on in the Pacific and the Indian Ocean uh, by late April. And so, uh, we changed our tune somewhat on the May forecast, and it turns out that it is indeed going to be a warmer than average month. 87 was the high at the airport today, tying us uh, tying uh, last Saturday for the warmest day of the year so far. Not a record. Today's record, uh, 90 degrees set in 1942. That's actually, hmm, that's actually uh, today's record, but I have the date on here wrong. Uh, should be today's date, May the 30th, but that record information is correct. All right, we do have... An ongoing severe weather outbreak across the upper Midwest. A particularly dangerous situation tornado watch issued for a good chunk of Minnesota. Earlier on this afternoon, several tornado warnings have been in effect uh, over the last handful of hours. Tornado watches extend all the way down towards Wichita, Kansas this evening. This is the same cold front that will bring us some potentially stormy weather by Wednesday, but not on Tuesday. This is going to be yet another hot day, a little bit more humid, but dew points still pretty much in check on Tuesday. Uh, just some fair weather cumulus clouds. It's going to be pretty much a rerun of today, just a little bit warmer, making our way to the upper 80s to around 90 in the afternoon. Let's talk about the setup on Wednesday. I think we have a pretty good uh, chance for some thunderstorms and a chance for some of these storms to be pretty rowdy. Wednesday afternoon, the Storm Prediction Center today with their day three uh, severe weather outlook did place all of eastern Ohio, western PA, and a good chunk of New York State in the slight risk of severe weather. Again, if you think of our severe weather threat scale as a, a 1 to 5 scale, this is a 2, a level 2 on that 1 to 5 scale. I think the timing on this is perhaps as early as 1, but most likely mid-afternoon, kind of centered around maybe 3 to 4 p.m. Things should wind down pretty quickly in our viewing area by about 5 or 6 at the latest. So this is kind of a mid to late afternoon thing. Uh, wind damage and also large hail. Uh, I think this is a pretty good setup for some hail across the area. Uh, the tornado risk, I think, this time is negligible. Unlike a lot of times you hear us say, there's a non-zero tornado risk, even though it's pretty low. I think the chance of a, a tornado with this kind of setup is almost just about zero. Um, we just don't have a lot of wind shear coming our way. But we do have some dry air aloft, pretty steep what we call lapse rates. The air can rise quickly, forming tall updrafts, tall updrafts, tall cumulonimbus clouds. 
have a better chance of producing some hail. And while the hail threat may be highest east of I-79 across the northern tier of PA, I think it's a pretty decent chance we'll see at least some small hail in any of these storms around here. And there's even a chance that some of these uh, you know, hailstones get pretty big, uh, especially in western PA Wednesday afternoon. You know, oftentimes we, we really emphasize wind over hail as far as severe weather risks around here, but this could be a, a pretty decent setup for some hail-producing storms. Again, the timing of this, mostly in the afternoon on Wednesday, so we're high and dry Tuesday. Wednesday gets off to a dry start, but here comes our front in the afternoon, and there we go, an eruption of showers and storms mid to late afternoon. Things wind down quickly in the evening. Thursday's forecast a little bit tricky. This model, along with some of our other model information, would suggest there's another kind of wave coming north and east and keeping the shower threat around on Thursday. Other modeling just completely dries us out on Thursday. This day is a question mark. What is not a question mark is the improvement by the end of the week and heading into the weekend. A great Friday and a great Saturday coming up. We're talking lower 70s to kick off the weekend of the first weekend of June. Just should be dry and mostly sunny, middle and upper 70s Sunday. And we should uh, once again be well above average into early on next week. So another pretty good stretch is ahead. But we got to get through a stormy day on Wednesday. We'll have more updates on that severe weather risk on Wednesday in tomorrow evening's edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching this evening and have a great rest of your Monday night.